Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog today. Thanks to Adrian. We have stenched, gorging on mephitic rot on 12 inches of wax with some bonus songs. Playing the head split cassette, which has been sold out for over a month now. I got mine from Caligari Records. Now, thank you, thank you, thank you, Adrian, because this is the demo of the year, and I just wanted to make a video letting you folks know this Beast is available on vinyl through Blood Harvest Records. The colors sold out, but with tunes this filthy, it doesn't matter. You get full artwork. Look at that. Awesome. Side Mephetic, Side Rot, and the two bonus tracks are just, I, I love them. Like, the original four tracks, great, but like, chunks of Hustlelent Rot, Pustulescent Rot, I mean, and the skull covered in putrid slime. Sewer drenched Mexican death metal. Also, one of my favorite illustrations by Rusted Winds, aka Lucas. If you're a fan of Window Gang and like Fetid, it's get that bouncy. So good. It's all from this maniac's mind. And gorging on the fetid rot is just so good. Like, you have the lyrics for the new material as well. I just think it's, you know, one of those releases that instantly got my attention, kicked my ass, and just. Hell yeah. Like, it, it's so good. And to me, this is the definitive version because you get the bonus material. And it's not like live, it's like legit. Again, thank you, Adrian, man. You did not need to do that. I was listening to some Departure Chandelier because I pre-ordered the new record thanks to the Patreon account. That was a great suggestion as well. I'm glad other people enjoy the same type of black metal that I do. Also, the new Tetragramicide. Yeah. Sergeant Stutter over here, but there's some sick stuff. The new Carcinoid, some other head split built, but this arrived in the mail today from Mexico, and I really just want to thank Adrian for supporting the channel and going the extra mile shipping this from Mexico. Thank you, man. Seriously, it means a lot. And the new material on the vinyl version that's not on the cassette, it's worth, trust me, it's worth it. And I know it's the holidays, you're ordering international, but a lot of distros and labels right now have copies of this. 
I just saw it on Instagram. I know Iron Fortress has copies. Um, I know Hell's Headbangers carries a lot of Blood Harvest stuff, so I would check there. But uh, it's such a good demo. It's going to sell out. And I know the cassette, like, if you're going to get a copy of this, it sounds awesome on tape, but it's worth it on vinyl for the extra song, the extra artwork. It's just... Oh, yeah. I was listening to some Departure Chandelier. Let's put our this on real quick. And I'm happy to have this on you know, two different formats, like, just because it's one of those demos on tape that I legit, I listen to a lot, but yeah, I was listening to The Black Crest of Death, The Gold Wreath of War, what a good demo, it's so weird, because, like, it's technically a demo, and it's just, same with, like, the stenched record, though. Like, it's, like, kind of beyond a demo. And I love how Departure Chandelier kind of... I think they use, like, the same equipment and stuff. So, like, everything kind of sounds like a continuation. And it's just badass. I can't wait for the new record. But, like... Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Departure Chandelier and uh, Venus Bird Cardinal over the past couple days, and it's just one of those things. I don't know. I'm I'm a sucker for this type of black metal, but like I just love that you know, like the story and stuff so far. It's like a history lesson. It's just, it's just cool, like, this artwork, and the fact that this is available on vinyl. 45 RPMs, bark bag not included. I put her the B side on, just in case I kept talking and we got to some of the new tunes. But it's seriously, it's one of my favorite, if not, this and the, the Torso Freak Mini LP are my favorite releases of the year. And the ones that aren't free issues, like legit. Dench gorging on mephetic rot. This is death metal. I I just I, I love this type of death metal. Bouncy, sewer soaked, and devastating. Like they have that like windy gang like heaviness, but like at the same time it's like its own thing and that's what I love like their logo even like just puts a smile on my face and then having Lucas's art keeping it simple with the font it, it's cosmetically like perfect and look at that demon right there Adrian sick Sick guy, but he's got the like. <laughs> Damn, it's he, he does it so well on here, and I love this. I actually put this sticker on my on my helmet. Two Trinity Mass Extreme shit, hell yeah. And uh, on my Mavis, I have. Uh, uh, maggot grave infestation sticker. You got that, like, just, oh, so good. And 
again, just like having the extra material, having a vinyl mix. Hell yeah. It doesn't say though who did the everything by Adrian, so that means he did the vinyl mix. It's just like, that's why I was curious. I wanted to, like, legit, like, because, like, I know the holidays are coming. Like, this, there's so much good stuff, like, but I know when this sells out, I mean, there might be a second pressing. There probably will be, but I, I wouldn't want to sleep on this, like. Seriously, thank you, Adrian, and Adrian's uh, girlfriend, for getting this here. Thank you so much, because it sounds incredible. <laughs> like, I knew it was going to look, like, super sick, because I love the cover art to begin with, but hell yeah. How come the Caustic Wound demo has not been released on vinyl yet? Is there something, like, holding that back? Because, like, Grinding Terror, I, I absolutely, I listen to that demo so much. It never gets old. It's just a great, great demo. And also, this just popped in my head and I don't want to forget. If you like Impentago, imagine if Impentago hung out with Wind again, and maybe Mortician came over. Yeah, it's great, and also fetid, obviously. But I love this type of death metal. You folks know that, and Adrian was rad enough. to send the LP to the channel. Thank you, Adrian. Oh, this is so good. Seriously. I wish I could still headbang. You have no idea, folks. Even thinking about, like, the action of doing, like, a corpse grinder windmill, though, like, legitimately makes me feel like I want to throw up. Like, I, I, I just feel like if I did it, it would just re-break my neck. And I could just, like, I keep having these, like, weird, and I don't know why, because I'm putting it in my own head. I keep having these weird, like... When, whenever I envision, like, you know, like, whipping my hair like I used to. Because I used to have a mean headbang and hair whip. I know that sounds lame, but I did. And I was just thinking about how, like, fast and hard I used to do it. And just even, I, I like, thinking about the rotation, like, made me just, like, remember that sound when I broke my neck and I just heard all the bones breaking like inside of my body because I didn't lose consciousness thanks to the helmet which did save my life though so I can't complain but I, I don't wish that sound on anybody hearing your own neck break and like not knowing the outcome is probably one of the scariest. I, I didn't mean for this video to make a big like 180 turn, but it's just one of those things that you take for granted. And I want you folks, if you're going to listen to Gorging on My Fetic Rot by Stench, bang your motherfucking head hard as you can for me. I could pump my fist. I can... It's still not 100% the same. 
Like, even being on stage, like, I'm tempted, like, to just, like, oh, like, I'm so into it, and I just want to start, like, letting loose, and I just know I can't. And it's tough, like, it really, it, I know it sounds so dumb, and so trivial, but, like, it really, like, I have to remind myself, like, and again, like I said, I'll be in it and like be feeling like i'll be just you know like vibing out kind of like and next thing you know it's like i want to like headbang and it's like oh you can't do that or you'll probably die so yeah that's a bad idea <laughs> so this is one of those things and then i've been hearing these like really gnarly like stage diving tragedies like I heard a story about, like, this dude was, like, turning to leave a show, and somebody stage dove, but they stage dove, like, like that, kind of, like, drop kicking, kind of, like, not really a cool way to stage dive, but I used to do the head walk, so, yeah, I used to be, like, a, a, an asshole in the pit. When it came to that type of stuff. Like if there was no barrier. And I could stage dive. I was probably front flipping on you. Or stepping on your head. I would always see how far I could get. Like running on people's heads. And it's a, I'm not. Like seriously. It's, it's not cool. It's an asshole move. Just stage dive. Like just. Just jump out. You can always front, just do do a half front flip, though. Like, don't do, like, a 450 splash. You're gonna fucking get hurt. But the story, I'm, I just want to say real quick. Listen to Stenched. Gorging on my fetic rot. Can't wait for what's in the oven for Stenched, because I know. Na, 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 na. Yeah, but seriously, I do know. And it's sickening. And I'm very... Also proud of a viewer and friend of mine who's making moves as well. And he knows who he is if he's watching this. And uh, he put out one of my favorite releases of the year as well. It's just, I know if I was like, ah, oh, promo of the year, people would be like, oh, you're being biased. But like... Actually, i probably go for Blasphematory's uh, dungeon, like the last session in the dungeon with no, with no end. But I don't know if that counts. I like, didn't, I need to ask those guys, like, because I forget off the top of my head when this was recorded, because technically, alright, it was recorded in... February of 2022, so, yeah, this cannot, yeah, bummer, like, they only made 50 of these, like, this is, like, one of, like, my favorite, like, blasphematory recordings, the final dungeon session, so good, oh, have I not, I keep forgetting to do a Chainmaker review, I think. Unknown Planet? Ugh, I gotta... I'm sorry, folks. But anyways, but yeah, the kid was leaving the show. The dude did the dropkick stage dive and hit the dude in the back of the neck and paralyzed him. So that's what I mean. I just started kind of like thinking of my past actions. And I was like, dude, you were such a jerk because i would like if this is where everybody was standing on the outside of the pit i would use your shoulder to hit whoever was behind you because i was just especially when i was like straight edge i was super angry all the time and was going to a lot more hardcore shows so i had a chance to kind of you know, back then, you go to a metal show and start doing spin kicks, you're going to get into a fight. Nowadays, you know, still people, no karate in the pit. Mosh however you want to mosh, but I hate push pits. Leave that shit at the Slipknot show. 
But you might say, leave the karate dancing at the karate lesson. Do what you gotta do. But just be careful out there. And please stop moshing for the internet. I know it seems to work and get you TikTok famous, but just stop. You look like a goon. And if you're on something called TikTok and you're my age, just stop. I'm only on Facebook and Instagram to stay in contact with people because I hate talking on the phone. Unless, like, we're super tight, I don't really like talking on the phone. I'd rather just listen to stench. Go to Stenched, gorging on my fetish rot. Blood Harvest Records. Head Split Records. Get on it. Thanks for watching as always. You fuckers rule. Thank you again to Adrian for making today's video possible. Get this before it's gone. Tails. Hey. <laughs>